So Jay, how did how did you get started with all of this? Well, it goes way back to when I was a little kid. I think I made my first lamp out of a log, a real interesting log, and it's it's just continued since then. I find a unusual piece and the gears just start going. I start thinking of well, Jay, this I, this is a pretty interesting piece right here to to your uh, to your left. That lamp. Uh, tell me a little bit about that. This lamp started from just this one piece here. It was a faucet I replaced for a customer. And as soon as I pulled the piece off, I was looking at it, and I just knew what I was going to do with it. I had these four golf shafts already, and I just picked up this gear at a recycling place. And I knew that the gear was going to be a part of the base. But I just didn't know what the whole thing was going to be. And as soon as I found this the faucet piece here, I knew what that was going to be. And I went to work on it immediately. Well, so what's the next one over? This here, this one all came from this part right here. It's a coffee percolator. And this part right here came off a pool filter. And that's basically how that one started. That was It started from the lampshade. And then uh, just piece by piece started creating it. This that looks shape. like that looks like a, a a bicycle fork. Yeah, that's a bicycle fork right here. That's where the pivot is. Oh. And then on the back, there's a pipe clamp that I put side by side and hangs the, the counterweights. And those weights are 17 pounds exactly. If there's 18 pounds on it, All right. it lifts it up. If there's less, it falls down. Swing it out so we can take a look at the counterweights. Wow, and that's a cool looking piece of uh, stonework on the base there. Yeah, it's all granite. Came off a job I was working on in Maui. Maui? Yeah, in a hotel. Cool. Came off of the Four Seasons. Wow, no wonder it looks good. Spared no expense, right? Well, they were going to throw it away. I said, no, can't be doing that. Okay, now, now the one down in the corner, that looks like a, a vacuum cleaner uh, attachment on the top there. Yeah, this is a, this part is the, the part of the arm, and this is the, the base of the, the Kirby vacuum cleaner. It's got a, Mazda crankshaft, some rear end gears, coils out of a pool filter, and the Mohawk out of color wood. Parts off a of Harley. Saw guard. So, uh, what is it you do for uh, your uh, straight gig? Well, I do a lot of landscaping and uh, carpentry work. Uh, Okay, so you work around people's houses. Oh, most of the time, yes. Okay, uh, is that where you find a lot of this? Uh... A lot of this stuff is, you know, from uh, you know discarded things from uh, customers, and through the years, my friends know that I make this kind of stuff, and they'll come over with just the most wild things where I don't even know what it is, and it's just, it's a good start of something, and I have boxes of parts and stuff just laying around, and eventually one day I'll get to them. Nothing's junk. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's and that's how artifacts came about the name, because it's all discarded materials that I try to bring a new life. You know. To that's cool. So artifacts.com, and it's spelled a little differently. A R T I P H A X X. A X X. That's yep. That's that's different. Uh, what's your phone number? People want to get in touch with you. Nine four nine two eight five three seven four four. Great. Cool. All right. Uh, what else do you make besides lamps? Uh, a lot of tables. Uh, wall pieces.
all kinds of different things. So you'll take on uh, unique commissions if people have an idea for, oh, I'd like a unique table or oh, I want something for this wall and I don't well, know. That's that's where the, the fun is. It's when someone has a, some kind of concept, you know, and I just take off of that. It's uh, I love that. Great. So great. Uh, what do we got here? This is a, a chime I made out of a a discarded fire extinguisher. <laughs> Biggest fire extinguisher I've ever seen. It's a beautiful sound. Here's one I'm making for a customer right now. Smaller version. That's the same, pretty much the same kind of sound. But... Well, those are pretty cool, man. How'd you uh, come up with that? You know, I really don't know. I just had one in my hand one day and hit it with something and it made a nice sound and I thought, huh, I'll give that a try. Cut the bottom off it and made a chime out of it. Cool. All right, Jay, well, thanks a lot, man. And uh, again, that's artifacts.com and they can get a good idea of what you do by taking a look at some of the work there. And uh, we'll talk to you again. Thank you.